Hello and welcome to more gaming. I am your host Joe Zamore here, and we are bringing you week four of PML Draft. We are currently sitting at one and two, so we're trying to get our record to 500 here. And he pretty much brought the scariest mons I thought he would. So we're gonna go ahead and lead off with red vines here. Certainly want to get the rocks up. Um, I have death to hard counter. Uh, uh, Faramosa, because it only gets one, well, it gets a couple of good moves that can hit it, but moves I don't think it'd bring, but good luck, have fun, Ellen, and let's see how week four turns out for us. Here we go. All right, here we lead off with the Red Vines, and of course, Rotom comes in, so... Uh, most likely scarfed, but also a very good lead for him. I'm going to go ahead and get the Toxic off first, because I think it's going to Dynamax. And honestly, don't think it has a move that can knock us out right off the bat. If anything, I hope it Volt Switches here. But we shall see. But if it stays in, at least we get the Toxic off. And we'll have to work around the speed boost of a Dynamax after that. But let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's a, it's a support set. So it goes ahead and gets up Reflect. So we get our Toxic off, which is good since it's a support set. We want it on the timer. And now I am really safe to think we can go ahead and... And get our rocks up here. So it does go Volt Switch. So the good thing about Toxicking is if it did want a Dynamax, we canceled. Not cancel it out, but makes it less likely he's going to Dynamax with that thing since it's on a timer. But you know. Dynamax speed boost is still good enough to get him into a good position regardless of the toxic. So let's see where he goes out to here. I think he goes Faramosa. But Red Vines is sitting here. Shabelle. Shabelle. Alright. I'm certainly thinking he goes for a fighting type move here. And I don't want to waste Red Vines just yet. Well, not waste, but... I don't want him to get knocked out just yet, so we're going to go ahead and switch into Shed Ninja. The only thing it could have is Bounce, Assurance, and Theft, I think. But I don't think it's going to go for any of those moves versus Red Vines here. Now we have Death on the field. Goes Close Combat, not High Jump Kick. So not exactly the best move for us, but, you know, we're going to get this Will-O-Wisp off on something. Doubt it stays in, and if it doesn't stay in, at least we know we hard wall it with this thing. Okay, so he switches out, and we go ahead and get a burn, hopefully, on Decidueye. And we do. So, so far, so good. Hopefully, that's a physical attacking set. And we're going to switch out to Red Vines here. So Red Vines comes back out and let's see what uh, this thing decides to go for. It goes for Sword Stance. So even though it's burned, it still wants to set up. So it's basically at neutral now. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Gyro Ball here. Goes for the sword dance again, so now it is officially at plus two. Negating the bird damage. 
And Gyro Ball does decent damage, but not nothing to write home about, so. Let's go ahead and keep chipping off at this thing. We are Iron Barb's Rocky Helmet, so if it attacks with the physical move. Oh, we avoid the attack. Some luck on our side. Sorry about that miss, but we do get the RNG there. And Burn doesn't quite knock it out, but it's there. And predicting the Poltegeist again, we're going to go El Toro. Because it is immune to ghost type moves. Alright. Great read on our part. We get in El Toro for free. And uh, Sherenja actually gets a kill here with the burn. Oh, well that makes sense uh, there. And I think he goes Faramosa here. Oh, he goes Turtonator. Alright, so this thing is a big defensive wall here. <clears throat> he has some great mons in the back still. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Stone Edge because it, it's boosted by Sheer Force. So let's go ahead and get this hit off. Alright, we get great damage off on it, but not enough. Now it goes for will o -Wisp. Okay, so he has some will o -Wisp tech on his part as well. So now El Toro is uh, lacking in power now. And it seems to be a Leftovers Turtonator. So I assume it's going to switch here. So I'm going to go Body Slam. Oh, okay. good. It stays in, but we get our same tech uh, boost. Iron defense. Oh, it's setting up. It is setting up. Now, is it going to go for Shell Smash here? Because that can uh, put a damper on our team. Alright, here we go. We're going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake. Oh, we should have went for the Body Slam for the Parachance. Okay, well, we don't get that. So, it gets its defenses up again. And, oh, it goes Iron Defense again. Now, we really have to hope it's not Shell Smash. Oh, wait. We can't get the Para. My bad. Sure Force negates that due to the extra bit of power. Well, let's go for our most uh, powerful attack with close combat here. Oh, and it, it's not doing enough damage. All right, it goes body press here, which most likely knocks us out. So... Fair, fair, fair uh, move on his part. He is really set up too. But we do have an answer for this thing, so uh, don't count us out just yet. Let's go Nine Tails here. All right, and we are safe uh, to go for the Scorching Sands here. Scorching Sand comes off, makes the hit, and takes down the Turtonator. Ninetales gets a kill. All right. Whew. Good thing I brought Ninetales. I wanted to bring Flash Fire, but I, for some reason, the game didn't want to take that one. So I had to use the, this one. But, you know, now that his only Fire-type Pokemon is out of the way, it, a Drought actually works in our favor. Alright, so he's going uh, the Rock Dragon here. We're going to go for Scorching Sands for that burn. And obviously super effective damage. 
And let's see if he goes for the dragon dance here. Oh, he goes for Fire Fang. Very interesting. I think it's a Scarf set. Because it, it was pretty fast. It outspeeded us, anyway. Alright, well, I'm assuming if it is Scarfed, it's locked into Fire Fang. And we can, uh... We can actually take the hit. Okay, so it is Scarfed. So he had to resort to Dynamaxing here. To switch up his moves. So now we got a Godzilla T-Rex on the other side. But now it's slower. I don't know if we kill though. But hopefully we can get the burn. Okay. Uh, no kill, but no burn. Oof. Alright, so it's going to change up the uh, weather here. Which is fine. At least now we outspeed it. No problem. So nine tails goes down. We are still at an advantage. We do gotta watch out for. We do gotta watch out for uh, sand, because that can take out uh, shed ninja if we're not careful with it. All right, so he has this thing. Uh, Feramosa in the back, a poisoned Rotom, and Slurpuff still. We're going to go ahead and just go for the Earthquake. It'll get the kill, and if Slurpuff decides to switch in, guessing the Dragon Claw, it will get knocked. It, it'll get some good damage off on it. Alright, here we go. So we got some fancy tech going here. So we get our Moxie boost, so we're plus one attack. We cannot outspeed Feramosa, but we're not too worried about what it can do to us. Um, Rotom can't be Scarfed, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw here. And at plus one, it should take it out. Oh, it doesn't. Goes for the Thunder Wave, but we are Lumberry, so we're prepared for that. And uh, it should go down to either its own sand or... Oh, man, that would have been great if I would have went Dragon Dance there. Okay, he gets hit by sand, and Poison knocks it out. All right, so Ferrothorn gets a kill there. Doesn't get our Moxie boost up, but, you know, that's fine. Let's see what he goes to here. Sabony. All right, he's going Slurp Up. And with our attack boost, I'm going to go ahead and go for the... Should I max here? I'm going to max. I'm going to max Airstream it. Because he's obviously going to belly drum. Uh... Well, actually, I would have hit it, and it wouldn't have had enough health to belly drum. It's okay. We're Dynamaxing here. Salamance is finally on a tear. It only took till week four, but he is putting the work in. Max Airstream comes off. Oh, and the Slurpuff still living. Oh, it goes Calm Mind. Interesting tech. So it is not the Belly Drum set people are used to seeing. But nevertheless, it's not going to be able to do much to us here. Oh, and that still is a kill from us. So we do not get that kill because it went down to its own sand. But we'll take it. And I'm assuming uh, this thing is sashed. But due to the rocks, it uh, it's going to negate the Sash. And we should be faster because we already went for Max Airstream once. And I think it Dynamaxes. Oh, he doesn't Dynamax. All right. So we get the kill off on this thing here. 
And that should be GG, I believe. I mean, if he has one more Pokemon, I'm pretty sure we take it out. But GG, Alan, thank you for the battle. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Luckily, we were able to get Salamence in at the right time and go on a tear. And that is it from us, guys, from week four. We are two and two now on our up here cli on an uphill climb. So hopefully we can keep it going. And I will see you guys next time.